And a good good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's about um, uh, eight eleven on uh, June third, uh, and right now, J Sports Three is showing Major League Baseball action from Baltimore, and uh, the Yankees are the are, are playing the Orioles right now, and they're showing yet yeah, showing the Yes Network feed. And those guys do not flinch. They still give you a quality. And they have an English language audio track as well, so that's good. He also noted the fact that they bring so much. This is from Oreo Park at Camden Yards. Feels like this team really feeds off that energy. They get excited when they see these rookies going out there and doing big things. He believes that they're going to continue to have success throughout the course of this season. And it's got to mean a lot, Kenny, to everybody down in the farm system. I don't know if it's supposed, supposed to be recording this because it's Major League Baseball. Yeah, and then supposed to have uh, consent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about almost 9.30 right now. We are headed down. We're uh, actually going to the Tokyo Tower today uh, because we didn't um, have the opportunity to go up to the observation deck yesterday. So I'm going back down to the day today to do that right now. All right, so I'm uh, at the um, Ikebukuro station right now. I'm about to go up to the platform for uh, the Yamanote line. I just went the wrong way. Okay, so I have, um, I've gotten off at, I've gotten off at uh, Sugamo station and I'm about to transfer over to the Mito meet to subway line. Yeah. Um, going to come inside. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be um, doing that. Yeah. So I'm here at the underground part of uh, uh, the the um, Toei Mita subway underground of uh, Sugamo Station. Uh, I am. Um, going to be heading um, to uh, uh, Ranimon Station, I, I believe, yeah, uh, and that's where the, uh, the nearest stop for the Tokyo Tower is, so, uh, yeah, um, this is what it looks like to me, and um, yeah, it's, uh, we're going to try to see some things we haven't seen yet. Uh, and, um, yeah, I, I don't know why I don't have a, a whole lot to say. I usually do, but I, I don't know. So now I'm now above ground and I am, uh, actually I actually don't know what uh, street this is, actually the, um, uh, the Japan and Tokyo really don't have any street names, uh, the, uh, the addresses are basically done by, um, by, uh, by each ward and by block numbers and building numbers, so it's, um, I think it, the, the, it's the um, the the uh, the block number. It, no, wait, hold on. The addressing system in Japan is is first. Uh, vi hold on. This symbol here, which it, um, which basically basically stands for the the uh, the, the postal code or, or, or uh, the, the postal code or zip code. Um, which is basically basically a set of three numbers, a hyphen, and then four numbers. Uh, 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 what follows is the name of the prefecture, uh, uh, 
and then um, uh, the, the, uh, the, that's part two. The part two is the prefecture. The part three is the municipality. Part four is will be uh, uh, Machi Cho or Song, um, and and part five is the city district name. Uh, 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 which uh, 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 the city district name, uh, uh, which, which is Kome, C H O, with a a, uh, a long mark over it, M E, uh, and the block number, Bansi. Uh, so, and then, uh, and then, if there's an apartment number, part that's part six. And so, basically, there is, there is no, there is, there are no street names really in Japan. It's really the the um, zip code comes first, and then the municipality or uh, no the, the prefecture, and then the municipality or ward, and then the the um, and then the and then the, the, the block number or something like that. So it's really it's really hard to really get used to, I guess. A bit of police activity going on up here. I really like the rising uh, light bar that these police carts have here. There she is, again. This time, I plan on going up that. So a little bit of a hitch in my schedule for today. Uh, I, I went up to the, uh, the entry line for the Tokyo Tower and it is, re it's really long. So I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do the Tokyo Tower, so. I'm going to try to find something else to do today, and, uh, yeah, uh, it's, <laughs> I just, I don't want to be waiting in a line that long. Get to the chopper. Do it, do it now. So right now I am at uh, I'm at uh, Azabu Juban Station right now, and I think a lot of you, if you've seen if you've seen anime, then you know pretty much pretty damn well while I'm here. Um, uh, as the stupid cord, uh, the uh, the district of Azabu Juban is featured. It's or the main setting for uh, for uh, Sailor Moon. So I'm going to be going around to like the real life locations and stuff. And um, yeah. question is where do I go to first and I actually have no reference point as to where I am right now. Okay, so I'm, up, I'm actually at my first stop on my, um, on my uh, Sailor Moon sort of sightseeing tour and um, one of the first places I was stopped at was where like the little archway was in the Sailor Moon R movie. Well, and, and I've watched videos on this and I've read about this, it's completely been taken over by a uh, construction site. So I can't get in and I also, I, I don't, I, not only can I not get in, I don't think the archway is even there anymore. The, the sort of like the the um, the archway is like sort of like a little uh, drain pipe or something that that, that, that that cuts through like a little support thing. So I mean, that's kind of disappointing that they kind of that they kind of did that. It kind of takes out a big one of the big landmarks, and it, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't just appear in the Sailor Moon R movie. It also appears from. My understanding, it also believes like once in, can't see me, once in, in season five of Sailor Moon, uh, the um, Sailor Stars um, season. So, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's kind of disappointing, but you know, it's, I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, but anyway, that's, that's, uh, it's not really a total loss because there's other pl other pl other landmarks that I would that I that I plan on seeing in this general area today. So I'm gonna go and go continue to do that. So.
That's not a good sound. When you hear an ambulance in Japan, that's never that's never a good sound for somebody. So right now I am right now it's 11:30 uh, right now and I'm uh, actually uh, at um, what is what's called Tario Juban. Uh, this is one of the locations that was featured in the Sailor Moon Crystal anime. Uh, I, I don't I don't think it was featured in the original one, but um, it was certainly it, it was certainly in the in the in the revamp of it. So. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. It's pretty surreal to be here right now, and uh, I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been I've been sitting here for the past I don't know like five minutes or something, and um, uh, yeah, this is this is this is really something. So I'm right uh, right by. Um, uh, Amishiro Park, which is uh, featured in the uh, original anime of Sailor Moon. Uh, I'm looking at right now are the uh, is that swing set that's um, in which um, that Chibiusa always uh, sits on when she is feeling very lonely or uh, 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 very sad. Many apologies for not um, for not uh, I, I guess getting a, getting a steady I guess. Um, image on that um, on uh, Amishiro, but, um, um, but I don't I don't want to be responsible for being thought of as a as a pervert and, and recording children in public. I'm not going to do that. So um, I just want to put it out there that I that I was there, I saw it, and that's the end of that. Uh, it feels really weird that I'm walking the streets of Tokyo, and I am. Um, just walking among the among the many locals here, and uh, yeah, some these narrow roads, and um, narrow roads with pedestrians on these narrows. I wouldn't really call these sidewalks, but just like the spaces between the lines, you can really the pedestrians can walk on, but. I mean, this is a two-way street, like, and, like, you got motorcycles going one way and automobiles going the other way, or vice versa, so, that's kind of weird, I mean, we don't have this back in the U.S., but, you know. I should also point out that most, uh, that, um, uh, Tokyo is actually, it's very, all, like, everywhere, there are, there are hills, everywhere, and so, there, um, uh, the, the, the city is covered with them, and uh, most cities, you're going to have to excuse me, I'm actually out of breath, I just climbed up the hill, um, most cities that I've actually been to are almost pretty much flat, um, like Philadelphia is for the most part flat, especially in Center City, but everywhere you go in the city there are there are hills to walk up and go down or drive up and go and drive down uh, and I mean it's I don't know I mean it, it's, it's kind of hard, hard to explain it's really this is really a, a unique city where you know you have multiple cities in one city I don't know if it can see no, no it's good enough you have multiple like cities or wards in one like city area, and that city area is, is Tokyo. Right now, technically, this ward it, um, or, uh, is uh, is uh, Minato. Azabu Jiban is in the Minato ward, and um, I am just um, <laughs> what am I just doing? Um, I am uh, I'm. Walking up and down the hills, I, I actually I, I didn't really plan this out. Uh, <laughs> it, 
it's almost like how New York has like, you know, the East Side, the Upper East Side, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, uh, Yonkers, and, and so on. Um, here you have like, you have Minato, you have um, Shinjuku, you have Harajuku, you have Ikebukuro, you have Akihabara, you have Chiyoda, you have uh, Shibuya, you have, in fact there's actually quite a, there's, 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 there's quite a lot of them that I, that I can't really name them all, but I just was able to name a few, and so, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, um, this city is pretty much, it's, it, 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 it's, it's unique to the point where it doesn't even come close to any, any of the cities. This is an enigma, pretty much, this, this city. And I've, I've, re I've, really, I have, I've never been anything, anything like it, to be honest. Yeah, I actually have completely lost <laughs> my sense of direction. I, I, I've, I've been using my, you know, you've got to, you've got to, you know, God bless, um, God, God, God bless Google Maps, uh, uh, for, uh, giving walking directions, because if I didn't have this, I would either just be, I would resort to using a paper map, which would completely put me in the middle of nowhere, or I would have nothing and I would be absolutely lost. So, thank you, Google, for giving me the power to navigate. Actually, right after I turn off and turn off the camera, I I looked I looked down at my phone and I realized that I'm actually where I where I <laughs> I'm already at where I need to be. Uh, where I'm at right now is the uh, is the Hikawa Shrine featured in the manga, not the anime, the manga of Sailor Moon, and uh, yeah, um, this is. The um, the archway into it. So I um, I uh, stopped by the um, the uh, uh, Hikawa Jinja shrine uh, used in the manga for Sailor Moon. I did the whole um, the, the prayer thing. Um, I just hope I did it. I hope, just hope I did it right. And I and I <laughs> I just realized that I am. I think. Yeah, this is the, um, I'm right in front of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the embassy, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Argentinian embassy for, uh, uh, <laughs> Japan. I didn't, I didn't even realize that until now. So where I am actually sitting, uh, sitting right now is, is the, um, the uh, 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 the intersection Zendai Zaka, where where the um, where the whole where, um, in season one of Sailor Moon, where uh, the uh, the bus disappeared. That's where we had our introduction to um, Ray Hino, Sailor Mars, and uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. And so uh, yeah, this is the uh, Zendai Zaka number 66 bus. <laughs> So, I didn't re even realize until now how spread out some of these locations are. And then I'm actually going to have to take a train up to the anime shrine, actually. 26 minutes, okay. I should also point out that it's, it's actually quite hot out. It's, um, it's about 82 degrees Fahrenheit right now as we speak. And it's 12.34 in the afternoon. Um, so... Yeah, uh, uh, I'm sweating down the down, uh, there's sweat running down my back inside my shirt. I'm not sure what the it's going to be ruined or not, but you know, my mom bought me these shirts, and so specifically for this trip. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to try to find the closest station. I also want to refrain from uh, from taking any uh, buses as well because, um, as I know that some buses stop 
I have different routes stop at the same stations and I know that the trains do too but I like trains better so that's what I'm going to do and uh, yeah so an interesting find that I've come across I think that this right here are the tennis courts that are featured in, in that one season one episode of, of the Sailor Moon anime where they um where uh um uh, uh, what does name Nephrite makes his first appearance? Um, yeah. So right now I'm actually at uh, Aizugawa no Miya Park, and this is, and this and the fountain that I'm right at right now, with this clock tower, is featured in the anime and also Sailor Moon Crystal as well. Uh, this is the fountain that Usagi and Mamoru usually meet meet up at to go um, and walk together to go to school, I think. At least that's how it was in season three of Sailor Moon Crystal, so I mean um, yeah this is a very very uh, very interesting find that I came across here. Because it was featured on on the Google Maps um, thing that I put together. It feels like it's getting hotter as, as the day goes on. It's 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 12 minutes before one o'clock and it's 80 it's still 82 degrees and it's um, and I and of course something came up with my watch that um, the Ferb guy, my uh, fellow friend of mine on YouTube um, mentioned me on, on Twitter and sent me something from DeviantArt, so I wonder what that is. <laughs> okay, so... You can't really see it. Yeah, that's what he sent me. I can't, I don't have time to watch it right now, um, dude, but, um, hopefully I will later on. So I'm now taking the train to, uh, uh, Rapongi. And uh, it's about a 10 minute walk to the anime shrine from here. Uh, so one of the last things I thought I'd see in Japan was a Shake Shack. And um, yeah, we, uh, the, the, the closest one to me is actually located in um, uh, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. That's uh, about 10 minutes about away from where, from where I live. That's, I, I know there's also one in um, Baltimore that I went to when I was at BronyCon a couple years back. Um, apparently it's an international um, uh, franchise, just like McDonald's, which, is, which actually is also here as well. I'm coming up right now on the uh, anime version of the Hikawa Shrine. And Yeah, I am. Um, it's you have to go up a hill to get to it, unfortunately. And it's it's also really hot out as well. I think um, they may be doing a wedding thing here. I don't know. I mean, I saw a bunch of guys in tuxedos and one woman in a um. I don't know. I mean, it's. It's really hard to tell. So yeah, that was the um, Ikawa shrine from the anime. I read somewhere that uh, the, the shrine in Sailor Moon, uh, um, Ray's uh, shrine, is actually based on three real life shrines. This is the second one of three that I've been to today. Uh, I forget what, what, what the other one is. Um, um, one um, is in. Uh, 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 Azabu, that's the one that was based, um, the, in which the, was, in, was in the manga. Uh, uh, Akasaka, that's the one we, we're at right now. And 
Uh, Shirokane. That's, I guess, the one that is in the crystal. I'm. No, wait. No, wait a minute. It's the. Um, I think it might be the live action one. I think. So, so it was the um, uh, Shirokane one that was in the live action one, not Sailor Crystal. I'm sorry. Um, the one in Izabu sits atop uh, uh, Sendai Hill. This one, the, the Akasaka Hikawa Shrine, was in the anime, the original one. And Shirokane was was one of two, uh, one of the two shrine locations for the shooting of the fictional Hikawa Shrine in the live action version. So, yeah. Um, I actually don't know where this Shirokane one is. Hold on. And that is 37 minutes away. I'm not going to go to that one, no. I've already been down there. That's, that, that's, Shirokane is, 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 is a ward south, or is a district south of Azabajiban. I was just there. I'm not going down there again. No. So, yeah. Um, I think that that might do it for my, uh, hold on. I'm pretty, there has to be more. You know, it's actually funny because um, uh, being here at this uh, at this shrine right now, I can just see, I guess, um, uh, Ray and, S and Sailor Moon being chased uh, by um, by uh, Grandpa Hino from that like that in that one episode um, when, when he was um, he had one of the rainbow crate, uh, crystals stolen from him and. Um, I, um, I'm gonna see, uh, his, um, monster, in, in his monster incarnation sort of chasing Sailor Moon and Ray around this, uh, I don't want to call it terrace, but, uh, but, but up and down these, this cross path here. <laughs> it's, it's probably one of the funniest scenes, uh, from the entire series, from, from the entire series, the original series so I mean it's I mean it's I mean I, I I've said it before I've said it once I'll say it again it's really it's quite surreal that I'm here at like the the location um, that one of the shrines that inspired the the uh, the, an, the anime location I mean I mean almost an exact detail that you know you have the path going up this way and then you have the cross path I mean that way. That that was that was in the anime, and then you have the shrine itself right there. And with that, that pretty much concludes my um, Sailor Moon uh, pilgrimage. Uh, I visited all the major sort of locations that are featured in the um, in the anime, and so I am actually now going to be headed to Shibuya to have some sushi for lunch. I'm going to having it. At, uh, uh, I'm going to be having it at a place called um, called uh, 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 Genki Sushi. It's technically a conveyor belt sushi place, but instead of an actual conveyor belt, they bring it to you on like these little train sort of things, these rail things. So, and I saw it in a um, in a um, in uh, a uh, uh, a YouTube video. And I thought, you know, what? when I go to Japan, I should, um, I, uh, I should go there. Well, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'm going there right now. Right behind me is actually the gates to the U.S. Embassy in Tokyo, uh, or at least one of, one of the, one of, one of the gates to it. Uh, it's actually the gate to the uh, embassy's dormitory, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm just anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. It's not really important, but. All right, people, so consider this a public service announcement. Even though they offer free Wi-Fi here in, in, in the streets, even, if you, even though they say don't text and drive, don't text and walk either. Because you, you need to watch where you're going, just like you do when you're driving. So, yeah. Thank you for, thank you for the PSA, Tokyo. So, this is where I'm getting on at to go to uh, Shibuya. This is a much less. Oh, I mean, this is a much less crowded 
station, looks like. Wait, there are two stations here? I think there are two stations here. I'm supposed to be taking the... Um, the, uh, the Ginza line. Uh, for Shibuya. So right now I am at uh, Shibuya station. And what I see right in front of me now is the Shibuya crossing intersection. This right here. This is probably a symbol of... Tokyo and, and, and of uh, Shibuya uh, because this is one of the most congested intersections in the world. I'm not sure how it is right now, but it, it, it's going to be pretty congested and pretty shortly, right, like right about now. Look at this. Look at that. That's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I really, I, I really haven't. That is absolutely unbelievable. And look, the light is red. And people still haven't crossed, or completely crossed. People are almost getting hit by cars. Look at, oh my. That is, that is organized chaos right there. And I just found out that I am gonna be part of that absolute absolute mayhem. Yeah, I'm um, gonna have to cross this in, uh, this intersection right here. I'm gonna have to cross it diagonally. <laughs> This is, um, this one looks like, uh, looks like New York's Times Square, almost. Except it's in Tokyo. And here we go into chaos. See my sin? The Shibuya Crossing. It's unbelievable. So this is the bustle of Shibuya on a Sunday afternoon. It's well, it's two it's two thirty two thirty five right now in the afternoon. And um, yeah, I'm about uh, about one minute away. <laughs> or um, yeah, about one minute away from where I need to be. Here's the place where I'm going. I hear uh, U2 being played somewhere. Uh, 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 close by. This looks like some good stuff here. Yeah. So I'm inside of um, uh, 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 Genki Sushi right now. And um, this is the menu on a tablet. Thank you. 
one of the first, one of the, one of the things that I ordered. So, yeah, I um, got some uh, sushi at uh, Genki Sushi in uh, Shibuya, and yeah, I um, am going to, I actually don't know where I'm going to go next. I, I haven't felt I've had that experience of uh, conveyor belt sushi or, or bullet train sushi, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and um, yeah, that was. Um, I really enjoyed that. I, uh, that's a really that's a really good that's a really effective way to do sushi. To um, uh, to just have a tablet in front of you, um, order. And then, and you can order. You can, it's basically all you can eat. You can order as much as you want, and uh, it's it, um, you, uh, you you order it, and it and it it's brought to you um, uh, on a on a on a little on a little train thing or a conveyor belt. Um, that's a really that's a really cool way to have sushi out. So this is.
So I've just gotten off at um, uh, Tokyo Station, and um, I'm a, I have to give you a little bit of a uh, of a uh, of a treat, sort of. So yeah, that's one of the biggest stations in in in, in the city. Actually, it is the biggest, I believe. Um, it stretches all the way from there over to here. And, uh, yeah, there's actually someone who uh, is having their wedding photos taken back there uh, as I was uh, coming down this little terrace here. And, um, yeah, that's, that happened. So I'm at a place right now. I'm going to take, I'm, I'm going to let you guys take a look at this. Look at this. Recognize this little strip here? That's because this, right here, this ground that we're standing on, this is where uh, the location for the, uh, the uh, snow halation PV took place. Well not, well, not really took place, but was uh, the uh, inspired the location for. Um, you know, it's really, uh, it's really quite something. I, I, I know, I know. I said this, before, said this before, and I know I'm boring you guys with it, but it's it's fascinating how much, um, uh, like, how many locations, actual real life locations, inspire the location for uh, for um, fictional anime. So, yeah, um, and. Uh, um, in the uh, PV, it took place during the nighttime here. This whole strip was, 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 was lit up with with, um, with all these trees here, lit up with Christmas lights, and um, and then during the during the last um, chorus, uh, they turned gold. The uh, lights turned golden. Uh, yeah, so. That's, um, that's, a, that's a thing meant to happen. And I'm actually going to sit down and actually take this all in. Snow Halation is Muse's second single that they, uh, that they produced. And uh, it, is, um, it is actually the first piece of music from Love Live that I've personally ever listened to and heard, thanks to Don Stefanso at Katsukan. Um, they, um, they, uh, they put on probably one of the uh, one of the, um, probably trigger one of the biggest phenomenons in all of Japanese anime, and it would um, and it will probably go down in the record books as the as the one of the most popular songs from Love Live ever. And so this is where it happened. And back in 2010, and uh, it's quite the um, quite the uh, it's quite a thing that I, 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 I just see, see in, perp uh, in, 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 perp in person because it's because in the animation this it's such minute detail every aspect of these grounds because you know the style the color and the of the of the tiles on the ground and all the everything on the side the trees the la the lamps the the siding here everything the, the, everything that goes with it was absolutely spot on and I think that the animators at uh, at uh, Sunrise Studios and um, and uh, Love Live Project uh, did uh, 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 Project Love Live uh, did an absolutely phenomenal job in, more, in, in, in getting everything everything down, everything down to the smallest detail, and also and and uh, a phenomenal job to Muse for putting on a, a great um, a great musical number that every Love Live fan loves until the end of time.
um, snow elation was was released on December 22nd of 2010. Uh, uh, if um, um, the the uh, the, uh, the song was written, uh, was written by Hata Aki, composed by uh, Yamada Takehiro and arranged by uh, Nakanishi Ryosuke. Um, Nakanishi Ryosuke. Um, uh, it, um, uh, and of course, uh, there is actually, uh, actually a poll uh, to see who would be the center for and for the song, and Honoka came in first, and quite fittingly, she she is the center for Snow Elation, and um, uh, Umi Sonoda came in second, and then Nozomi came in third. Um, uh, three of them form a, a triangle within the choreography, which is why Nozomi takes the center back position and can be mistaken and can often be mistaken as the song center. I'm reading this from the wiki. Uh, uh, um, Wiki page from, from Love Live uh, it is ar arguably one of the most famous, arguably not one of the most famous song in the Love Live discography, and the only one within the fandom to have a consensus on on uh, on the Sayulume colors to be used at concerts during the song. White for its mo white for most of its duration until the start of the final chorus, whereupon everyone switches to orange. In, a, in effect, to mimic the visuals of the original PV video, that is is I think an incredible piece of writing, incredible statement, uh, just a absolutely phenomenal sensation.